Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my monthly favorites video. If you would like to know what my monthly favorites are, then please keep on watching. So starting off, we're going to start with the brows. I have a new brow routine that I've been doing for probably about three weeks now. Um, and I've really been loving it. It's kind of more extensive than um, when I've been using the MAC um, Fluid Line um, in... What was that color? I don't even remember the color that I was using. Isn't that bad? But anywho, yeah, so I have found a new brow routine and the products that I have been using are from Anastasia, Anastasia, however you say it. It is the Dip Brow Pomade and this one is in Ebony. And it looks like this. And then I've also been using the one in Chocolate. And it looks like this. It's just a shade lighter. And then I've also been using the Anastasia powder. And this one is an ebony. It just comes with two different colors. A lighter color on this side and then a darker color on this side. And then as well as the tinted brow gel from Anastasia. And this one is in auburn. This color is auburn. So I have been loving this new little brow routine that I have concocted with the help of this Anastasia's brow products or whatever but if you would like to see an updated brow routine then please like this video and I will do one more than likely I'm going to do one anyways and just post it on my blog that one is going to be like pictures so if you want to see it live in action then just like the video and I'll go ahead and do one next let's move on to the face so for the face I have been I purchased this product probably about two weeks ago and um, I've been eyeing it I just didn't know if I was gonna get it so when I did get it it is the Glam Glow Hydrating Thirst Mud Treatment Mask and it comes in this big old little box and I got this from Sephora and it says hello sexy here you just open it up and all this good stuff and then it comes in a little jar like this. It's so freaking pretty. Just ugh, everything you need. And um, you open it up. comes with a little thing. Take this off and it looks like this. And it smells so good. It smells like coconut and, and ugh, coconut and vanilla. It just smells so good. But what I do is... Um, during bedtime, I wash my face, take my makeup on, do my skin routine, and then the last product before moisturizing or the step before moisturizing, I will use this hydrating mask and I will put it all over my face and um, let it sit and then kind of dab like 5, 10 minutes, 15 minutes later, I will pack the rest in and let it be. When I put this on, it gets like... Um, almost like a burning sensation but it's not burning bad I don't know how to describe it but if you tried it you know what I'm talking about it um it just feels really good so it tingles and I feel it working and then you wake up and your skin is amaze balls so I have been really loving this hydrating mask from Glam Glow and yes yeah, got this at Sephora it was like $60 so it is expensive but um it's definitely definitely worth it the next thing I have been loving is this Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream 8 in 1 Beauty Balm and I featured this in a haul video and um, I said I would let you guys know if I liked it and I absolutely love it. I have absolutely love it. I have been using this um, for a, a long time. I think ever since I did that video I've been using it um, on a daily basis especially if I just want to throw some on and go eyebrows, mascara, and lip gloss. This has been my go-to thing. I just absolutely love, love, love this beauty balm. And I'm usually not one for beauty creams, but they did a good job. Next, um, for setting my face, I had went to, I went to the CCO near me. Well, not really near me. It's like 30, 40 minutes away, but near me. Um, and I grabbed this powder. It is the 
Select Sheer Loose Powder from MAC. It is in the color NC45. And I have just been using this to set my under eye concealer. Because when I do my concealer for my face, it, I do use um, a shade or two lighter than my skin tone. So it would be NC45. And I've just been using this powder to set it. And I love it because it gives me a flawless finish. And it does not crease my under eye concealer. So I definitely love this product. And it was... $17 at the CCO and if you don't know what the CCO is, it is um, a place where makeup goes, well MAC makeup goes, Estee Lauder, Bobbi Brown, they ship their makeup that they do not sell or is um, not selling well, they ship it there and then they, you get it at a discount. So I got that thing for like $17 and it's originally like $34. So you can't beat it. So definitely try to research a CCO near you if you have one in your state. Um, yes. So that is that. And then also I have been loving this facial polishing mask, charcoal and black sugar. And I wash my face. It depends. I might flip flop this around. Um, if I'm using this mask, I won't use the Glam Glow. But um, I've been loving this facial polishing mask from Freeman. And um, you put this all over your face and it's black charcoal. It, as, look, it looks black. I don't know if you can see if you can see it. It comes out black yeah you can see that and um, I just put it all over my face and I let it sit and it gets really really warm and just it heats up it reacts with your skin and it heats up and then once you let it set um, I forgot how long I let this sit for five to seven minutes that's what it says um, once you let this sit for five to seven minutes you can go ahead and scrub it off and the beads in it just the sugar in it, not beads, the sugar in it just exfoliates your skin and polishes it. And I just love the feeling after I use it. I definitely, my skin definitely feels rejuvenated. <sighs> love it. The next thing I have been loving this month is going to have to be this cream from Nivea. And it comes in a big old tube like this. And it's pretty deep. And pretty thick but um i use this when i get out the shower because i do have dry skin so i use this and it moisturizes my skin and it you know it looks nice and healthy after i put it on but it's not like oily feeling so i definitely love that i don't like to feel like a big old ball of fried chicken or oil or grease or whatever so i really really love this stuff i use it every day after i get out the shower moisturize and it's nice and thick so love it um next on to eyeshadow palettes that i have been loving this month the first one is going to have to be this laura pro palette and it just uh i used it i think i used it in one of my tutorials but yeah, I did. It was my Valentine's Day tutorial. I used this whole palette and nothing but the palette. So, um, and one color from the Naked palette, but whatever. So, this palette comes with three, six, seven, three, six, seven, eight, sixteen eyeshadows. Eight of them are matte, eight of them are shimmer, and a nice, pretty old, big old mirror. And I just absolutely love this palette. Like, I never knew how amazing it was. I heard the rave about it on YouTube world, but um, I never, I, every time I looked at it, I eyed it. Um, I don't know if I want to try it. It looks like I can't find these colors anywhere, but when I finally did try it and buy it, oh, I fell in love. The colors are amaze balls. You can definitely create any look with this. It's just the perfect palette for people who like nudes or just want to step out the box especially with this slate color at the end i just i really love this palette and if you have not tried it you definitely need to try it and i promise you would love it too so the next thing i want to talk about is going to be this physician's physician the next thing i want to talk about is going to be the physician's formula highlighting pen is supposed to be concealer and highlighting pen but for me, it is just a highlighting pen. This is the one I reviewed. You just twist it up. Product comes out. Um, what I do with this is I mix it in with my concealer. And I just highlight underneath my eyes and everywhere else that I naturally highlight. It just gives the concealer an extra glow. So I have an extra glowing amount of skin. So I definitely do love this. And I have been using this this month. And it is definitely 
gorgeous packaging so I don't know I just been loving this stuff this month nice healthy glow um as well as this Lorac unzipped palette Lorac has just been doing the darn thing in my book I know everybody's probably already tried it and it's already on the bandwagon but I'm like whatever so this is the Lorac unzipped palette and it comes with ugh, gorgeous 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 rose gold type fill shades just nice and neutral you have one two about two flat colors two or three flat colors yeah three flat colors but this palette is definitely gorgeous I did a Valentine's Day look with this palette um, this was the one my first Valentine's Day look and the second one was the get ready with me Valentine's Day but I did create that whole look out of this palette and I definitely love this um, unzip palette if you're looking for nice pretty rose gold shades this is definitely the palette for you and the pigmentation is definitely crazy so pick this up check this out play with it in your local store if you see it and get a feel and opinion of your own another palette that I have been <laughs> loving I had to get it out the package is going to be the nude eyeshadow palette from the bomb and it's definitely nudes but you can create any look with this because it gives you options to smoke out certain looks um, it has a nice white matte shade, a green shade, pinks, bronzes, bronze green. Like the colors are just amazeballs, as you can see. And then I'm always a fan of big mirrors, but these colors are gorgeous. And then the names of them are even cute, sassy, stubborn, selfish, sophisticated, sexy, serious. Sleek, silly, seductive, sultry, standoffish, and snobby. So, definitely, I always love the bomb. They have great, 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 great products. So, if you do not know who the bomb is, check them out. I will leave the link below. And they always, well, most of the time, you can catch them on Hot Look. And Hot Look is a site where it's like a flash sale site. So, you can get their products half off, half off. You can get their products half off and yeah, enjoy the luxury of the bomb and all of its goodness. Um, also from the bomb, I have the Mary Luminizer, but I wanted to try the Betty Luminizer, and it comes in a package like this. Zoom in. Looks like this. And then it is just a bronzy. Let me open it a bronzy feel um illuminator so um i freaking love it you don't even need a lot and then and that wasn't even that was like a dab i'll show you again a dab and then swatch like you cannot beat that and i have that on now that is my highlight all over my face that is my highlight is this stuff and it is freaking amazing i'm so mad that i broke my mary luminizer so yeah but i'm definitely loving this betty luminizer thanks betty girl and the next product that we're going to go on to is going to be another highlighter and this one is from the mac extra dimension collection i think this was the new collection or no the yeah the new collection something like that that just recently passed but this is called <clears throat> this one is called magnetic appeal and it is definitely one of my favorite um, highlighters beside the Mary Luminizer. And you just swatch it and I'll show you. Oh, it just gives a nice wet look of a glow to the face. I have been killing this stuff and I love this stuff. I'm mad. I probably should have got two, but I'll work it out because I'm going to have to find another one and I'm going to get another one. So, yes, I absolutely love this stuff. If you haven't tried it, you definitely have missed out. Definitely try to um, look online to see if you can find me. If I can find any more, I'll definitely post a link down below. But I love this highlighter. It is amaze balls and it's going to be perfect for springtime. That's another one. And then for blushes, I have been loving this Fever Blush from MAC. It is a matte bronzer. And anytime I do red lips or 
deep plum lips i throw this on to kind of balance out my lips and my face and i absolutely love it i will do a swatch for you it's very strong so a light hand goes a long way and i kind of rubbed it so as you can tell that pigmentation is ridiculous but i absolutely love it so definitely run by mac swatch this you'll love it and if you don't you're crazy Next, I have been killing this Revlon Nearly Naked Powder in the number 050 Deep. I have already hit pan, as you can tell, so that means I really love it. Um, it's very light um, on the skin. It's not heavy. I usually pair it with the Nearly Naked Foundation, or I put it on top of the Maybelline Foundation that I use in 355. I have mentioned that one plenty of times. I have done tutorials with that foundation. That is definitely one of my favorite drugstore foundations. But I pair this or I dust this over my face with any one of those foundations. Even if I'm using MAC um, foundation or NARS foundation, I will put this bad boy on top. It just sets my makeup and it doesn't like have extra cakiness feeling to my skin. So love this bad boy now on to primers i have been loving this primer from mac called painterly it just makes my eyeshadows look that much better and they stand out that much more so anytime you have a base or a good base it will help the longevity of your makeup and eyeshadows as well as color payoff another primer that i have been loving for my eyes is this Too faced shadow insurance glitter glue and anytime I use like a really frosty eyeshadow I put this on um, underneath and it just ugh, intensifies the glitter shadow frost sh shadow that much more and I'll definitely give you an example yeah. so this is the shadow without any primer and now this is the one without the primer and this is the one with the primer and I don't know if you can tell but this one is like killing this one when it comes to pigmentation and just vibrancy so I love that glitter glue with anything that's frosty and glittery it just uh, it makes the shadows that much more gorgeous this one from Sephora and this one is just a liquid liner I am not a fan of liners that are glossy or have like a glossy finish to them. I'm always loving the ones that have a matte finish to it. Um, so this one is definitely a plus. It's just a simple liner by Sephora in black number one. And it is the, yep, that's it. Eyeliner, long, long lasting eyeliner. Nothing spectacular, but matte finish and then the brush. It's just really thin, so it gives me a nice little play, dramatic cat eye. So I've been loving this one. I can't wait to cook it the full one because this one is almost out. That's how much I've been using it. Now on to lip products. So um, I ordered some stuff from Lime Crime, and I have really been killing this um, red velvet Lime Crime Velveteen. And it's actually what I have on my lips right now. It is red lipstick. It is the reddish you're going to get. It's like a gloss and it finishes to a matte finish. And it smells like cake. Ugh. So um, definitely, definitely loving this product this month. This is like the same level as MAC Ruby Woo. But just like matte and not super drying to the lips like Ruby, Ruby Woo is. So I've been loving like loving this product just don't understand the perfect red lip um also from lime crime i got some lipsticks i wanted to try them out um i got the lilac and it is just a lavender pure lavender color it looks white on the camera but it's definitely just a pure lavender i'll do a swatch so it looks probably looks white on the camera, but it's lavender. And then the other one is um, lavender as well, just more gray based. And this one is called Chinchilla. And it's just a muted out purple. It probably looks white on camera as well. But yeah, I'll probably, I'll just insert some pictures at the end so you can see the swatches of these two Goa, just lipsticks. And then I've also been loving lipsticks 
from Melt Cosmetics. I don't know what my other ones are, but I have Bane, which is just the black matte lipstick, as well as the D G A F lipstick, which is the royal blue, which I wore on my blog. And a picture on Instagram, which is just a royal blue and it's a gorgeous matte blue lipstick. And then I also got, um, which one is this one? I think this one is Blow. I think the Blow is green. Yes, Blow is green. Can't beat it. And then I also got Space Cake, which is gray. And I don't know where it is. I think it's in my purse. But I will definitely insert, insert the picture in the swatches at the end so you can see all of them, um, how they look. They're very, very, very pigmented and they are matte but not like crazy drying to the lips. So definitely stop by MelkCosmetics.com and check out their lipsticks. They are gorgeous. Like truly, truly gorgeous. Some of the colors, you know, if you're an everyday person that doesn't like crazy stuff, then you won't see some lipsticks in there for you. But if you are like, want to try out the box type things, definitely check them out because I don't think any other brands has lipsticks quite like that. So yeah, I will leave the link to that site down below as well. Next on to um, some more lip products, which is going to have to be my first one is by MAC and it is called Cream Cup. I have been loving this lipstick. Um, it's freaking amazing. Like for a perfect nude, just everyday color, Cream Cup is definitely the way to go. I have been using it with Sora lip liner or, and even chestnut really to um, get the look that I'm going for. But I love this Cream Cup. It is so, 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 so pretty. I'll swatch a little bit. It looks like that. It probably still looks white, but it's just a gorgeous gorgeous soft soft muted out pink if you have pink plaid it's something similar to pink plaid but it's more creamy it's a cream sheen so it's creamier and it's a little light it's not as much pigment to it than that pink plaid has then also I've been loving this Revlon lip gloss and this one is called Supernatural from Revlon it's a gorgeous gorgeous color I've actually been putting this on top of cream cup it's gorgeous gorgeous I'll swatch a little bit there just a muted out gloss it's gorgeous for nude and then also tiramisu from NYX is another gorgeous nude lip gloss that's it right there and the lip glosses from NYX smell amazing like I don't know where they bring they uh, stuff but I'm loving it so that is definitely a, my nude go-to lips and then on to this other lipstick I found at the CCO and it is from MAC and it is called Happy Hibiscus and I use this to um, add a little bit of more pop to my lips. Anytime I'm wearing pink or just certain shades I use this. It's kind of a white pink and it's just gorgeous. I love it. That's a nice pout. I know some people are like, I'm scared. I'm dark skin. I can't wear that color. Girl, yes, you can. The right lip liner and other lipsticks to pair with it, you'll be good. Then for my uh, mascara, I have tried the Better Than Sex mascara. I don't know if it's better than... Let me not go there. But um, I love this mascara. It looks like this. This is the wand. My hand is swatched up. This is the wand. It goes from... Uh, put it in front of you. It goes from big, small, big. So it gives you a nice little coverage all over your lashes. And I have been loving, you know, this mascara. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it just because it was so expensive. But if something changes between now and this empty tube that I just fall absolutely in love with and cannot live without, then I will definitely repurchase it. But I love it for now, but I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it just because it was like $24, $26 for some mascara. Yeah, no. Um, and... Lastly are going to be some statement pieces. So lately I've been into statement necklaces as you can tell I have on and I said it on my Instagram. But I have been really, really, really loving statement pieces, bold statement pieces. And I think that's going to be my thing for spring and summertime. So I decided to show you some of these statement pieces that I have copped. So um, 
the first statement piece of course is this one and i got this one from forever 21 i don't even know if they still have it but it was probably like a month a month and a half ago so i got this statement piece and then i also got this one recently i got this probably about two weeks ago and it just looks like this it's freaking gorgeous looks even better on but i just thought it was so edgy with the three little things right here the little ripple effects and then this one has like little studs right here or diamonds fake diamonds and then triangle edge things all around it and then it has like a black little lace not lace but string thing right here throughout the necklace and then i think oh, from this one i got from forever 21 as well and it just so happens to be this flower one and this flower one has um it goes gold and then it goes like rhinestones gold rhinestones gold but i absolutely love this necklace i haven't quite figured out what i'm gonna wear it with but i just thought this was so gorgeous so i could not pass it up and then another favorite has been from the boutique called ps boutique and i will put a link down below and i will give you the info for info for the instagram page that they have but this is definitely another statement necklace and it just looks like this and it's just like gold and it came with earrings but it's gold with like feathers and just so freaking gorgeous i love it and then another statement necklace i got from them was this one and it's just like blue and green with gold around it so i just thought it'd be so 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 gorgeous as well as this one from ps boutique this one has to be one of my favorite ones from there just because you'll see it it looks like this and it has like rhinestones dangling but the rhinestones you can see they have like multi colors in them so uh they're just so 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 Go, I just go, just go, just love it. And then I also got this little necklace chain, and it is a lipstick chain. And y'all know I love this lipstick, so I have to get it. Looks just like this. Put it around my neck, and it looks like that. Ooh, looks like that. <laughs> looks like this. So I love, love, love this lipstick. When I have small lipstick earrings. But they're really, really, really tiny. So, I don't know. But I love this lipstick necklace. And then my last piece of jewelry I have fell in love. I saw this girl at the mall in Zara. She was working. And she had on this necklace with this cute, cute outfit. And it has a jacket. So, I told her I was going to steal her whole outfit. Well, not her whole outfit. But, yeah. I was jocking her style. And I asked her where she got the necklace. And she was like, oh, it's right over here. And so, I put this up on Instagram. So, if you saw my Instagram, you already know what necklace I'm talking about. But, I saw this and I fell in love with it. Ugh. Do you see this necklace? Like, I don't even know. Like, camera doesn't even do it justice. But, this necklace is freaking gorgeous. So, I looked at it and I was like, mm, I don't know. It's so gorgeous. So, I was like, you know what? Let me sleep on it and come back. If I come back and it's still here, it is meant for me. So I slept on it and came back and it was still there. Dun, 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 dun. So I freaking love this necklace. Like it just, with a simple white t-shirt, throw it on and some studs. You'll look like you spent five hours trying to pick out that outfit just because of this gorgeous behind necklace. So yes, I love it. 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 So yes, those were some of my monthly favorites. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below in the down bar. Everything that I mentioned, I will put descriptions and links if I can find them in the bottom bar. And if you wanted to see the updated bra routine, then please like this video. More than likely, I'm going to do it anyways, but I'm just going to post it on my blog. And if you have not seen my blog already, please go check it out. I think I have three or four things on there right now. I'm working on another blog. I'm going to try to blog every other day, if not every day. But I'm not going to say every day because that is pushing it. So, yeah. 
check out my blog um i will leave that right here and i will also leave a link down below and at the end of the video so you're gonna see my blog everywhere until you go check it out but once again thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed and please comment down below and tell me what your monthly favorites were so i can check into them and see if i would like to try them and until next time bye guys